We've got three items to touch on today from the Land of Ark, including last week's Community Crunch, a few updates to my last Ark upload, and breaking news concerning Ark 2 that may not come as a shock to some of you. Anyways, I've got you covered on all fronts, so let's get right into it. What's going on everybody? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and welcome back to the channel. First up, I wanted to again thank you for the awesome reception you've been showing to both me and my ARC uploads. The comments keep pouring in, of which I'm doing my absolute best to answer as many as possible. Anyways, it's noticed, I do greatly appreciate it, and I wanted to again express my gratitude. Okay, so let's hit item number one, and it is last week's ARC Community Crunch post. Now, <laughs> I held off on posting a full breakdown of number 359 as it went live at 3.59 a.m. local time for me, and yeah, an upload at that time is just not happening. It features some side-by-side -side comparisons of drop pods in both the current version of ASE and what they will supposedly look like in ASA. There was also what I thought was a concept drawing, but then it was later clarified by a statement that it was a model for a new Carnotaurus leather saddle concept. Interesting to note here, it features tandem riding. And then it finishes up with the statement that the ASA creature ranking poll has closed, and we will learn the results tomorrow, May the 5th, in the next Community Crunch post. Now, the one statement that really caught my attention here was this first line in this entire post number 359, and it reads, While we're going to wait to reveal the gameplay of Ark Survival Ascended until its near final form, we want to show you how we're approaching the new game artistically. Which to me means we don't have anything ready at this point in development that we are confident to share, so here's something else in the meantime. Now, in and by itself, this statement is completely harmless. But when you zoom out and take a look at the calendar, it starts to dawn on you. ASA is set to launch August 2023. Now, the exact date is still unknown, but this is now May, and August arrives in just three months. And I have to ask, is there nothing else that Wildcard can show the art community other than a few concept art creations? How about live, in-game footage from the UE5 version of Ark? How about a devlog breakdown where they show the conversion from the old engine to the new engine? I mean, I think a lot of community members would find this super interesting. This is normally the point on the calendar where a studio would start slowly pushing out trailers and promos for their upcoming release. In this case, it's Wildcard and Ark Survival Ascended. And I, for one, am concerned that this is all they have to show here, concept art. Could ASA be headed for a delay? I mean, at this point, anything is possible, but that release date is fast approaching, and it is going to take more than a drop pod visual rework to get current ARC owners to upgrade to ASA. Okay, let's switch gears from the somewhat concerning to the just downright comical. Six days ago, I posted this video, outlining a chaotic quartet that has been plaguing the ARC Steam forms for some time. There was more I could have touched on in this one, but it was long enough and raised enough questions, so I just capped it around the 23 minute mark. But we have some interesting, yeah, I guess we're going to go with that term, interesting development since I uploaded that expose. The headline for this one is that the character at the center of that last video, Dude with a Brain, decided to take their Steam rants on the road and created a YouTube account aimed specifically at trolling and harassing any user from Steam that had previously called them out over there, and it also posted in the comment sections of my videos. Now, as you can see from the body of their work, they have been busy as a bee, posting like mad, calling anyone that stands against them a liar. Anyways, here's the thing. YouTube is a completely different animal from the Steam forums, where they apparently receive some sort of preferential treatment. Now, when you create an account solely for the purpose of trolling and acting like a fool, YouTube is much less forgiving than Steam. Anyways, enough of you pushed back against these incoherent ramblings and the results were immediate and swift. Damn, it feels great when justice prevails. All right, on to the ARC breaking news. And in this case, it's breaking news concerning ARC 
2. And it began splashing across the game reporting agencies late yesterday that according to a digital domain press filing, ARC 2 has been delayed until spring 2025. Now, first off, let me read you the exact statement from the 2022 Digital Domain Annual Report. And by the way, a link to this entire 171-page report can be found in the video description in case you have that much time on your hands and you want to read it over for yourself. Quote, Digital Domain is continuing its relationship with the team from Studio Wildcard as they prepare for the highly anticipated release of ARC 2, the follow-up to its award-winning predecessor, arc. Currently, Digital Domain is assisting with the creation of several in-game assets. Digital Domain anticipates being intimately involved in all aspects of the project through the game's release in spring of 2025. Before we break the statement apart a bit more and add in the latest developments of the story, it's important to know who Digital Domain is and TLDR version here, they are a visual effects company that has handled some of Hollywood's most demanding VFX work, and in the case of ARC 2, are probably working on assets for the game. And so, according to their annual report, ARC 2, which was delayed until late 2024, is, at least based on this statement, now being pushed back to spring 2025. Almost immediately, in an email sent from Wildcard to GamesRadar Plus, the studio stated that the developer has no idea where that came from. Also, in a follow-up email, the spokesperson said the release date is likely just a typo. Hmm, I don't know if I buy that just a typo brush off, and I'll explain in a moment. And if this is indeed true, it would be the fourth ARC 2 delay since the sequel was announced. And before I break this apart, let me know where you stand on this announcement to delay ARC 2. Is it true? False? Maybe it's just a mixing of words? I really look forward to reading your responses here. Alright, it's time to open up the ARC 2 Science Lab. Let's pull the statement apart molecule by molecule. Wildcard has previously stated late 2024. Digital Domain says spring 2025. Alright, let's theorize. Theory number one. ARC 2 has indeed been pushed back, and Wildcard is just playing it off despite knowing that, yeah, it's going to be delayed. And thinking about this now, with just art models to show at this time for ASA and those community crunches, if that remake into UE5 is indeed delayed, then you would naturally think that the timeline for ARC 2 would also be pushed back, meaning the digital domain report is accurate. Theory number two, ARC 2 releases in late 2024 into early access, and full release only occurs in spring 2025, exactly as ARC Survival Evolved did when it first launched. Now, technically the dates would match up here, right? Late 2024, spring 2025, but the missing context of early access and full release is a significant item to help cement the facts together. Still, this theory could also be labeled as accurate, but based on assumptions about that missing context. And let's finish up with theory number three. When Wildcard stated late 2024, they weren't referring to calendar years, but instead fiscal years, meaning ARC 2 could release as late as March 31st, 2025, but still technically be labeled as late 2024. But like theory number two, missing the context clues of fiscal year versus calendar year. Spring 2025 begins on March 20th. So again, this is a possibility. It is somewhat accurate, but again, it's missing clues. Like I requested earlier, let me know which of these three theories you think it will be. Sound off in the comments section below. But for now, back to that just a typo comment made by the wildcard spokesperson, and I would tend to disagree here. And this is based on the descriptive addition of spring to that statement. Now, if it was just a year, 2024, 2025, 2026, that would be one thing. Hey, I hit the wrong number on the number pad. And yeah, that could be labeled as a typo. But adding the spring before the year makes it much more exact. Spring is three months, beginning in March and ending in June. And I personally don't think you can brush this one away with that typo statement. And in all reality, this is either Wildcard trying to put out any further fires created by their previous ASA ARC 2 pre-order bundle madness, 
or they are just completely out of touch with the actual planned release date of their next release. Again, let me know where you stand on those ARC 2 delay theories. Sound off in the comment section below, and of course, I will do my best to respond. If you happen to like the video, maybe consider hitting subscribe. And while you're at it, take a few seconds more to ring the notifications bell to receive my latest ARC uploads. Also, if you could rate and or share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. You can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over in my open community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description below. Shout out to the over 120,000 of you that have taken the leap and hit subscribe, and as always, a special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.